inspired, instinctive? Well, it's it's kind of a two part thing because initially I want I was saying this on my podcast I wanted to like invent my own word like um, Carrie King and Max Cavalera and other artists do, and we were thinking about all the cool like words that sound legit that aren't really words like repentless and revengeance and downstroy and so this has been an ongoing theme like it's kind of like an inside joke that my podcast listeners would get also it's a very different type song for hate breed where it's it's not necessarily about me in particular like i this is something i did on the last few records where there's a couple songs where i'll write about somebody else in mind and so the the whole thing with being instinctive is like when you're pushed to this to any point of where these animal instincts come out or these or this adrenaline or or this deep thing that's down within in everybody like you hear these stories about uh a kid being you know trapped under a car or uh trapped in between two rocks and it's like life or death and somebody gets the strength to um to lift a car up off their child or lift their friend up you know from out between some you know perilous situation it's like a barbarian type of song and that's where i came up with the treatment for the video i thought you know we've done all the performance videos we've done all the the live show videos where it's us playing to a crowd or uh, the, the the performance videos where you have the couple zoom ins on the guy's hands and the feet doing the double kicks and you know there's all these kind of like formulas for music videos and they're cool and i like them and, and don't get me wrong i i think that performance videos are awesome and and especially if you're a real fan of the band like me being a fan of slayer or whoever like i want to see the guys in the video but i thought for this song in particular i thought it'd be cool to for us to not be in the video after writing and rewriting like 10 different treatments i finally thought about the risk and sort of like the instincts that these artists have to do graffiti like i go back and forth to new york city all the time so i see pieces of graffiti in the most dangerous spots and i always think like how the fuck like what makes somebody want to do this and it's and that's kind of how people look at heavy music like they they hear the song or they see our touring schedule or they see us and they go why does someone do this and they don't realize that there's a huge audience for it and that there's a drive and there's like this instinct to create and to make records and to tour and to do art you know whether it's the album cover or the videos or whatever so it's like we kind of put that all into the treatment all right there's this incredibly talented artist he doesn't have a place where he can let his thoughts um hit the page so he goes to this abandoned building and does this huge piece and it's it's I always find that those art videos like on YouTube where you watch the people do the art for some reason they're like almost therapeutic to me in the same way that a song is where you see this person create you see the process and you go wow I could do that too that's amazing and then you see that so much work goes into it and even though one person might view it as vandalism to somebody else it's this feat of just like impossible awesomeness or to someone else it's this amazing uh inspirational piece of art that then they take that energy that they get from it and it goes into their work so this guy Jax is like just he's actually was in a well i don't want to give away anybody's identity but he might have been in a band that we played with years ago now he does these murals and these pieces and it's just incredible as you see in the video he does this like barbarian which fits with the lyrics of the song tap into the savagery and everybody every now and then in their life they need to do that especially if you're in a bad place and you're being taken advantage of or you're someone's taking your kindness as weakness or someone's looking at you as like prey or as someone they can take advantage of sometimes you need to tap into the savagery and that's what instinctive slaughter lost the video and the song represents Step into the savagery Step into the savagery I am on his and terrified I'd rather die than tell the lie I had sc scouted some locations local to me but this was meant to be and Justin is such an amazing eye for locations and such an incredible director and a great editor in his own right he's, he's someone i could see easily doing a, a feature film one one day soon 
and it yeah the video just looks great it's it's very very close to my treatment you know right down to each individual shots